Come on in then chaps, if you can hear me above all the noise, I'll try and speak up. You'll notice that we've got the vacant gesture is brewing and at the moment I'm doing the vol off. I do the vol off without the spray ball arms on because it just plugs up the little holes in the pipe and then after after 10 minutes I pop these back on. So it seems to have been a slow start but nonetheless uh, seamless, no problems, it's gone 12 o'clock, I didn't get in till 10, then I had to weigh out the grains, blah de blah de blah, we had a delivery as well, come for beer from Beer Metropolis aka Shiny Brewing Company, they have a wholesale um, arm and they do lots and lots of very good beers, fingers in a lot of pies. So. Uh, I'm just at the moment recirculating caustic in Fermenter 1. I'm recirculating acid through my plate chiller and I'm recirculating wort in the mash tun. So the next job is going to be remove uh, the caustic from the fermenter, put that into Fermenter 2 for a recirc there, and then add the, do a rinse of course, and then add the acid into Fermenter 1 and recirculate that ready for the beer to go in and in the meantime we will start the runoff for the mash and take all that lovely lovely goodness and sweet wood and put it into the boil kettle ready to ha add ready to add the outstanding mosaic hops that's right Well, looking at that, I think I need to get a chimney sorted out sooner rather than later. So you can hear in the background with all the pumps whirring away and the chiller also operational, we are transferring just gone five o'clock so it's not too much of a enduring day today but uh, I've noticed that this cold is starting to kick in and my throat is really quite sore so um, to pass a little bit of time this afternoon I thought I'd move out some of the bagging box ciders that we left in the old brew shed we didn't put them straight into the new brew shed because we had all new ones we just hooked the new ones up for the sake of it so some of these are pretty much full, some of these are pretty much empty. So I thought I'd uh, have a wee dram for medicinal purposes only to maybe stave off this cold. I'm sure things such as the apples and pears and the mango are full of vitamins and goodness. I've got myself a little glass. I'll start with one down here that I've not actually tried before. This is Dog Dancer. By Gwen, I can never say this, Gwenny Drag, Gwenny Drag, Gwenny Drag, uh, anyway, yeah. 6.5%, nice, clear, oh, 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 it says medium on it. Oh, that's not bad. Cornish Orchard, 
bit more. This is their vintage. <laughs> this is their vintage draft. Oh, ah, oh, that's got a rat bite. Woo. Um, Tiny Rebel do one, you know. This is their Perry. Uh, good time the ABV. Oh, well, go on then. I'm not really a big fan of Perry. Baby Sham. Oh, it smells like candy. It smells very artificial. Actually, it's really nice. It's not too sweet. There's the peach. This one's a bit chemically. Yeah, the peach. This one's like uh, schnapps. You like your schnapps? That's nice. Apples and pears. This one's 4%. 5.2, actually. Oh, there we go. Up the apples and pears, my friend. Oh. That's nice, actually. Have you ever had the rhubarb by Lily's? That's 4%. Bit hazy, always a bit hazy. Mmm. Bit of a strange note to the back end, which I imagine is uh, the rhubarb tang. Not tried this one, this broad oak, moonshine. Come on, lad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. 7.5. It's like water. There's nothing in it. Wow. <coughs> <coughs> That's a strange one. Oh. Ah, it's like a scrumpy that. Everyone loves the mango. Believe it or not, we get all the rugby players on the mango. You wouldn't believe it, would you? They're all fairies, really. Yeah. Oh, keeps you regular. And then finally, number nine. We've got the tropical cider by Lily's at 4%. Oh, a bit more than an half measure there. Well, never mind. Oh, tastes like Umbongo. Remember Umbongo? I'll be your dog. Or was that Kiora? I can't remember. But suddenly I feel much, much better. Yeah. Much better. Shall we start with the dog dancer again? So she wrote, we've got the control panel set to come on at 3 o'clock in the morning, 
that will turn on the HRT heater, that will turn on the HRT recirculation pump from Ken Kingdom. And then when I get here at about 9 o'clock in the morning, or maybe later if I'm still feeling this rough, I didn't get in until gone 10 today because, well, anyway, I don't want to arc on about it. Feeling a wee bit ropey like pet. So what I'm going to do is uh, end the vlog here, go home, get another night's fantastic rest and then come in tomorrow and do it all again. Tomorrow, another batch of the vacant friggin' rights we did. See you then.